So last time we had a whole bunch more stuff to turn on the Citadel before we started our uh, little party side quest thing. There we go. You hear that fine? Have quest to turn in. All right. Oh, so I find a um, Batarian. Over in here somewhere. I there it is. Pillars of strength from the kite's nest. They're yours, waiting in Bay D twenty four. Thank you. Right now, my people need any reminder of that faith they can get. Welcome to Batarian State Arms. All right, hey, here we go. Batarian State Arms, defending the hegemony. Gun upgrade. Gun upgrade. With Batarian State Arms. Please observe all cast restrictions when making a purchase. Huh. Stand strong for your people with Batarian State Arms. Let's get the weapon upgrades first. I have a shotgun. Batarian State Arms, defending the hegemony. Are both of these. Stand strong for your people with Batarian State Arms. Hmm. Please observe all cast restrictions when making a purchase. That one is interesting. New in oh, new achievement. Two non customizable suits of armor. Okay. Oh, it's you, hey. Your parents get here yet? Nope. It's okay. I mean, they'll get here. They always keep their promises. They. I mean, I think that all was probably just late or something. That's Okay, I'm assuming that's not a side quest thing. Um, what else do I have here for... I need to go to... Alright, Tactus in the refugee camp. Six. Here we go. Damn it, I'm telling you, someone sabotaged the medical dispensers. No, it might be people who have them arrested. It doesn't matter. What matters is that I've got three. There we go. I recognize you. You're Commander Shepard. And you must be Tactus. Hello, Walker. I consider you their leader. Yes, someone needs to sort out this mess. CSEC has tightened access to the Citadel, and we've got desperate people down here with no place to go. I also hear you need basic medical... Good news, we've got a bunch of those. Dr. Chakwis spoke of a mutually beneficial trade. I tried to be clear. In my experience, the Alliance looks out for their own. Trust is a hard thing to come by these days. I know you need our military supplies, but they're worth far more than your basic meds. Her offer wasn't satisfactory. Your people need our supplies, and my people need yeah. every edge we can get. Your combat grade meds will make a difference. And our mission may just save everyone. Now's not the time for heading this fast trust. With our day to day worries, it's easy to forget we are all in this together. 
I'll have my people contact yours. You'll have your supplies as soon as possible. I would have gotten more Paragon by just giving them the medical supplies, but we also kind of need our uh, combat stuff, so there's that. Uh, what else do we have here? Managel dispensers in the Citadel refugee camp have been sabotaged. Find the dispensers and fix them. All right, and so that game didn't really telegraph very well that I that there was that new uh, side quest. Another one. It's basically pretty much kind of busy worky stuff. A tattoo, James. James? Commander, what brings you down here? I was about to ask you that. There could be a bit. Well, after our little chat, ah, I made up my mind. I'm going to join the N7 program. And you're celebrating by getting a tattoo? <laughs> sort of. See, there's no official channels to go through right now. So, I guess this is my way of making... You're getting an N7 tattoo. Technically, I'm just an N7 recruit, but, you know, I figure with you as my training officer... How could I fail? Right? I'm flattered, but I wouldn't exactly say I'm training you. Not officially, but what the hell is in this goddamn war? I'm just saying, whether you like it or not, you're my direct superior and you're N7. So I take my lead from you. And you know. You know, maybe you shouldn't advice. move when you're. Really? Sure. The good advice. You know, when you're getting a back tattoo, you'd think the smart idea would be to not move your back while somebody is trying to work on it. Well, they wouldn't ask you if they didn't think you could handle it. Here's hoping. But the real work starts now. Uh-huh. I know it seems like I don't take things seriously, but when I commit to something, I fully... Hence the commit. tattoo. Clearly. Hey, I won't let you down. Is this a Peter Moore reference? What with Peter Moore and all his release date tattoos? Good point. You know, that's gonna sting for a few days. You gonna be ready for duty? Always. Hey, maybe we should get matching. You want me to get an N7 tattoo? N7? Sure. Or you could get my name done. Somewhere special. You are such a tease, Vega. Who, me? You ever gonna make good on... No. I'm... Uh, I'm seeing I some... Was... Shepard, you're seeing someone. You're seeing Liara. You know, I was just... <laughs> That's what I thought. Later, Lieutenant. Later. Ah, careful. Shepard, I've been role-playing you as monogamous to Liara. Don't screw up all my carefully done role-play. Jeez. Alright, so I guess that's completed the quest. Which was basically run through a series of locations, hit A, do a meaningless task, and then run back here. I fixed the sabotage. The metagel dispenser should be working now. Thank you. I'll get patients moving through triage immediately. I wish we could have found the bastard responsible for the sabotage. But this is going to save a lot of lives. Thank you. Okay. Now if we could get like a side quest for the saboteur for catching the saboteur, that would be helpful. Alright. I did broker the trade. I guess I have to go back to the ship to complete that. Alright, Weshra, I believe, is Next stop is Presidium Commons to trade in a bunch of the stuff there. Hey, could you, like, practice better firearms discipline there, man? Okay, Presidium Commons.
All right, and let's make sure checking something real quick. Make sure that I am set up to good. Keep your recordings. Yay! I wanted. All right. So got a whole bunch of stuff to turn it over here and people to talk to. Don't need rapid transit. I expect to complete the medi medications. Wait, aha! Scientist. I think I know which project you mean, and I've got a Hesperia period statue in bay D24. Commander Shepard, that's excellent news. I'll have it sent to that project right away. Thank you so much for your help. So that part's done. Accountant. I recovered the Book of Plenix. It's waiting for you in bay D24. Earth Clan, this is a priceless gift. Thank you. You may help my people remember themselves. It'd be extra nice if I could have some of this stuff. Uh, if I could, like, view my war status stuff on the, uh... Um, look at this from the menu as opposed to having to go back to the ship and view it at the uh, war table. I mean, it is a more immersive way to a certain degree to do it, but it's also a hassle. Alright, anyone else I need to be talking to over here? Um... So I've heard one of the blaster. So I've heard the blaster trailers, and they are unintentionally hilarious. Um, bum, 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 bum. We're here. See if there's any other. Found another one. Yeah, the guys in Zakara did too. Disarmed there safely. No casualties. Nice work. Okay, so that's still needing to... Alright, so that's related to the, um... Cerberus quest, which I haven't got... Which I'm not far enough in the game to do that side quest yet. Anyone else over here can talk to... Or turn in quest materials to... Because I'm looking for that one... Um, character. This is like a more obnoxious version. Her name is Aha. Of course. Weshra, I have an audio log for you. For me? Where did this come? Oh, no. Oh, Tasha. Thank you for bringing this back. At least I know what happened. All right, so that quest completed. No real XP for it, which is a bummer. Would have minded, wouldn't have minded some XP for that. Not expecting cash, but All right, so presume embassy is next. Yara, aha! Dialogue scene. Do something a little more exciting. I love this part of the Presidium. It reminds me of where I Aside from the blown up and smoking part of things. I'm Molly, back on Thessia. My mother and I lived beside a park. I spent hours there. Doing what? <laughs> Reading, exploring, getting in trouble digging for ruins in the grass. <laughs> You're kidding. I was very young. Yeah, that's actually pretty funny. Sorry. Cool. <laughs> no one else thought it was funny. Oh, the lecture my mother gave me. 
but she did buy me my first history book the next day. I miss her, Shepard. What was she like? She was confident and kind. She loved to wear yellow. I thought she was the most beautiful woman. Take it, she's passed away. You'll be okay, Liara. Maybe you're right. Thank you, Shepard. I feel Either she passed away or she's on the Asari homeworld. Spend more time together like this. Just friends. Well, we're kind of more, I thought. Friends doesn't cut it for me anymore, Liara. Wow, that sounds serious. I am serious. Whoa, Whatever that's happened, a proposal scene. I wasn't expecting that I'm this early. My life with you. Then you're extremely lucky that I feel that way too. I know. Oh. And we cut away from the actual kiss. Okay. Great. You actually tapping the mic. So there's an itch over there. My nose. Any new gun upgrades? Uh, armor upgrades. Pistol upgrade. The Larian submachine gun. Armor portions. Okay. The clutch is stabilized? Really? That is wonderful news, my sister. You wish to name the first hatch after the one who helped us? I think that's a wonderful idea. Oh. There's going to be a Salarian named Shepard. The man is a traitor and a murderer. You saw what he did to your wife, to my husband. And didn't bat an eyelash. He's evil. There's no. All right, else. let's. What's going on here? I'm in position at CSEC. Draw them away, and I'll move in and make the kill. Don't answer that. Sec office at the Presidium Commons. Aha! Uh -huh. Commander Shepard. Guess I know what happened to my backup. Excuse me? Come on. I'm in CSEC in civilian gear with a weapon. I know what I'm made. Just let me explain. Bring me. Captain Aaron Summers, Alliance Marines, retired. Captain Summers? There's a prisoner here. CSEC officer who helped Cerberus. CSEC caught him when you stopped the coup. Now he's offering them intel on Cerberus to get a better deal. Why are you telling me this? Because he doesn't deserve a better deal. He killed people during the coup. Good. Oh, so you're going to kill him? He's former alliance, like us. The way I figure it, he's our problem to fix. Well, um, except we need the intel to help fight Cerberus better. So, how about no? And I think this is probably the best way to talk you down from doing it. If you've gone that man down, you're dishonoring the uniform just Which is why he's not wearing the uniform. Like hell I am. I don't like plea bargains any more than you do. But the intel we get will save lives. Says who? Our superiors. The people we swore to serve and trust. Captain also says me. Commander Shepard, Council Specter, thanks. Me, Commander Shepard, Council Specter, person responsible for org <laughs> person who is heavily involved in organizing the war effort, and who is probably the most informed person in that room as to what exactly is going on at any one time in the course of the war against the Reapers. So, how about you shut up of your face? Unfortunately, the renegade option is I'll kill him instead, which is not actually the option that I want to take. Spectre status recognized. Please select a destination. The little embassy, they have a side quest there. 
we'll do that one, and then we have the quest for, um, we have another DLC quest to play through, the House Party DLC. So, who in the embassies area am I talking to? Bolus Ambassador Din Korlak. Thank you again, Earth Clan. Our military strength is minimal, but we are proud to help as we can. Okay, so this so. The problem is, we have a lot of Volus over here. Hey, Samara! I hoped you'd come. I won't remain here much longer. What are you doing on the Citadel, Samara? I suppose I came to say goodbye. Faler is safe, and Rila is at rest. I felt the need to speak to you before heading to battle. I want you to know there is no one else I'd rather see leading us. Hopefully they won't be our last hours. These aren't our last hours. I'm fighting this war to win yep. it. No doubt. But you can't deny that the galaxy will be forever changed once This again. is true. Even I can't predict how. A little humbling. But perhaps that's a good thing. What are you do? What yeah. are the other Justicars doing for the war? Most have made it home. They will attempt to hold Thessia. With the odds we face, it's possible our order will no longer exist after this war. There's that few of you? Our numbers were never great. We must prepare to save Okay, I kind of get it. If that is what's required. Was being a Justicar worth it, if that's how it all ends? The Justicars were formed to bring order to a world that laughs at the notion. The role is solitary. Its demands are lonely and uncompromising, often to the point of pain. But, following the code left me with no regrets. Take that for what you will. Will Falair be alright in the monastery? Or... She's living alone in a giant pile of ruins. For some time. It won't be easy. But if there is a way to survive, Falaire will find it. It was good to see her again. Perhaps it's unseemly for a Justicar to dwell so much on her family. I'm just happy things worked yep. out. I was fortunate that Falaire saw things so clearly. I'm also. And it would yes, because otherwise you would have shot yourself in the head, and then you and her, then she would have been very, very sad. All right, and the Reapers. You know, I never asked you if your code has anything useful on fighting Reapers. Treat them as any other enemy. Show no quarter, mercy, or. Oh weakness. no, because that's pretty much the way they fight anyway. The only difference is the scale of our foe. The code is too strict to account for such small discrepancies. Is that how you see it too? You yourself killed a reaper on the citadel, and then another on Tachanka. I can only follow such... Actually, I've killed three. One on the citadel, one when I killed Sovereign again, um, back at his at the reaper base thing, uh, or Harvester. Whatever they're called, they're calling them harvesters then, harvester base. And then the Reaper that was killed in Tuchanka, though I didn't exactly kill that one, I kind of just got a big giant insect to kill it. Good but but there, the point stands. You as well. I don't know if you believe in such things, but goddess, go with you, Shepherd. We'll both be tested in fire soon enough. Okay. That's Renegade, but you know, that's not a, that's not bad, Renegade, Karma. 
Okay, so that's not working. Let's try the seasick office. I'm going to talk to Bailey since the last thing. Attack. We're reeling from the implications. Udina in league with Cerberus trying to murder the council. You could be more expressive. These are dark days for all of us. All that time you were working for Udina, did you ever suspect? Always there we go, wrong. expressive. Still, that traitorous bastard upped me. Probably made me for an idiot. <laughs> I guess I proved him right. He's dead and you're still here, Bailey. <laughs> Thanks to you. Put my camera over a little bit. Showing up, Udina and Cerberus would be dancing on my grave. There we go. More in frame. Thought you'd be in the hospital. If I'm breathing, I'm working. Probably the worst I've ever been hurt. Fitting, I guess, given the state of the galaxy. But if Cerberus thinks a few slugs is going to keep me out of action, they've got another thing coming. All right. No time for rest. Good luck, Bailey. Yeah, you too, Shepard. Can we cancel? Shepard can't get in. Director office. Office suite near the human embassy. Okay. Good to see you're all right. All right, Miranda. How about this? Miranda, what's going on? Couldn't meet in person. The Citadel is too dangerous right yeah, now. Yeah, that's fair. I heard about the attempted coup. Yeah, with Kai Lang's help, Udina nearly seized control. Kai Lang? That slippery bastard still alive? He's alive and right in the middle of all this. That complicates things. I'll be on my guard. Look, I don't have much time, but I learned what happened to my What's sister. Up? Where is she? I don't know that yet, but my father was definitely responsible. If he's done anything to her, I'll kill I'll help. Her. Miranda. Shepard, listen. I'm being hunted by Cerberus assassins, a lot of them. I need to stay out of sight. What? Why? I heard a rumor, maybe more, that my father is working on something for the elusive uh -oh. man. Something big. Why would your father be working with the elusive man, especially now? My father is ruthless about preserving his legacy. Legacy? He has an obsession with making his mark in history, ensuring his dynasty lasts forever. And you think the elusive man made him an offer? Exactly. I have a hunch. What's going on with your father can't be good. That camera angle's a little I agree. much. I need to do this myself. It's time I stopped running from him. You're sure? Yes. I can't think straight until I know Ari is safe. And give me a call if you need a whole bunch I of promise that, Shepard. Could you? No. But at the very least, give me a call if you need a whole bunch of guns at your back. Like, all the guns. Because I, you know I have all the guns. Every gun. Even that one. Gun upgrade. Side quest. I don't have the cash for those guns yet, or that. So, side quest Herter Memorial. Side quest at Huerta Memorial Hospital. Um. Office next to Dina's. Shifts on it. But in 
ensuring Citadel systems integrity is just going to take time. If we can get some of their field encryption tools, maybe sample ciphers. I understand. Keep trying. Okay. Right, so uh, Javix over here. Somewhere. Find him. Ah, all in the name of Tiptree, I presume. Oh, there he is. Tiptree, I presume, is meant to be a uh, reference to author James Tiptree. Hi, Javik. Interesting dialogue scene. Option. of a view, isn't it? During our war, this place became a myth to my people. A dream glimpsed only in the memory shards. The citadel was both the heart of our civilization and its demise. The Reapers hid here first, didn't they? No one I knew had ever seen the citadel. To be here now, I don't know what to think. Might not seem like much, but a Prothean is standing on the Citadel alive. That's a victory in itself. Perhaps. When things were at their darkest, we used to tell stories, imagining the wonders of this place. The seat of our empire. The power to sway worlds. The galaxy belonged to us. Nowadays, a lot of races have embassies here. It's true, then. You share power with the rest? It's not perfect, but it's kept the peace. And it'll hopefully help us win this war. Pardon me. This one has been listening. This one suspects you are a Prothean. Yep. Hey, Hannah. I remember your kind when you were still minnows in the ocean. This one is unworthy. This one has seen the face of an Enkindler. They consider your kind to be their gods. A pity we did not teach them to... <laughs> oh, snap. Oh. Huh? You're really a pro... Wow, um... <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is awkward. For many, there may be no hope. But... The Reapers killed trillions in my cycle. The odds of being among the living... Um, I don't think that's going to work. Paragon interrupt. But you are still alive now. That alone is a miracle. And you still have the power to fight. My people knew your kind when you were young. Torian, Asari... Oh, could very well time Paragon interrupt. Now you must seize that potential and become the weapon you are meant to be. The weapon that tells the Reapers we are not machines. We are alive. And we will fight back. Thank you. That meant a lot. Commander Shepard, <laughs> it must be an honor to have a Prothean fighting alongside you. He's starting to learn his way around. Javik Although I haven't only had the had him out in the field like once or twice. Amanda is a capable warrior as well. <laughs> for a <huge laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Thank you, Commander. I have enjoyed my time here, walking among... I will see you back on the Normandy. Among the young. That is an interesting phrasing. Okay. Was the Volus ambassador here earlier? Yes, he was, Commander. I need in. Spectre business. I'll unlock the office when you're ready. I'm ready. 
And I'm going to, once we get to this cutscene, I will, well, maybe not, let's, let's finish the quest up this episode. Collectors, not harvesters. Too many. But fighting the alliance must continue in order to end. That's the pretty counterintuitive. We understand it took a lot for you to reach out to Cerberus, Ambassador Korlak. We ask that you trust us a little longer. You people are monsters. Ambassador, please. Hundreds dead. Udina betraying the council. I should have cut ties with you ages ago. And what will that accomplish now? The risks you took by passing information to Cerberus, it left you in an interesting position. Translation, we have leverage over you. If you sever contact, we can't protect you from the consequences. I don't. I have no time for this. We'll speak again. Have a good day, Ambassador Korlak. The Turians think I'm still working for Cerberus. They've put a price on my head. Yeah, I remember the head shaking. I can't go to CSEC. But Cerberus has plans. An entire Turian colony rests on my life. If anyone finds this, I hid a tracking receiver in the office suite beside the human embassies. That it? Aha! Uh -huh. Zaid and I are going to have to have a little chat. How long till we killed Kolak? Once the credits go through, was beginning to think you weren't interested in the money. I'm not. Because Korlak worked for Cerberus? What'd they do to you? None of your goddamn business. He waking up. This is Commander Shepard. Ah, two-way bugs. Yes. Yes, I can hear you. Tell me where you are. Uh, we're still near the Presidium. C-Sec will check Selkish arms when they realize I'm missing. They won't give a damn when they realize you sold them out to Cerberus. Wait. Cerberus is planning to attack a colony that... Stay calm. Help's coming. All right. Oh, give me a chance to pick some guy pick a team, some team members for this. I suspect Zaid might be easier to talk down if I bring familiar faces. Zaid used to work for Cerberus. Ask him why he's here. Why? Why go after your old employer, Zaid? Now you know my name all of a sudden. Good question. Up. Wrong way. We're going this way. There's the door. Damn, wrong door. We need you alive to stop Cerberus. Cerberus. 
Paris is after a Turian colony. Kill me, and they get it. Drop my name. Shepard's investigating. She's a recent acquaintance. A oh, recent? Very. Shit. All right, I'm listening. There we go. Right door. Hello, Zaid. Been a while, Zaid. Shepard. Glad I wasn't just making an ass of myself over a hunch. Undisciplined bastards. This is what I get for signing up at the last minute. Where's Korlak? I'm here, Commander. I... You saved my life. I almost died because the Turians thought I was still with Cerberus. You could have gone forward to the uh, C-Sec or Council before, earlier than this. I'm fine. They wanted me alive until the fees were delivered for my capture. They didn't care about what I had to say. You kept mentioning a colony in your message. Information on a Turian planet's defense system. They'll strike soon. But if I tell you which planet they're attacking, Cerberus will know I turned traitor. Turn? You already betrayed your own. Cerberus is kind of anti. We saved your life. Tell us what planet you put in danger. I can offer a bargain. The Volus bombing fleet. In tactical terms, it's worth far more than a colony. Or you could give us both. You can warn the Turians there'll be an attack, Commander. That should be general enough to ward off suspicion. You tried to do the right thing before. It failed because you trusted the wrong people. Now here's your chance to make up for it. You're giving us Volus support, and you're going to help us make Cerberus pay. There we go. I can't. You will. You can. Waste of everyone's time trying to appeal to a Volus is better nature, Shepard. Aphis. The colony's name is Aphis. Cerberus wants it. Aha. Uh -huh. And the bombing fleet? Yes, it's yours, Commander. Yeah, if we hadn't gotten the... Sh I'll speak with Citadel Security about this incident. You have my thanks. Uh, yeah, uh, for the colony, if Cerberus wanted its shipyards, then actually, yes, the colony would be worth more than the bombing fleet. C6 on their way. Won't be too pleased with the mess we left them. Catch up with me at the docks, if you like. Alright, so we got the fullest bombing fleet, and I've kept Cerberus from taking that colony. Alright, so next time... We will do, uh, next video, I'll do the, um, uh, house party, uh, DLC.